Hi guys, this is Sabi from Engineering Master. Welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master. In this video, we are discussing about inductor. We are covering what is inductor, how does an inductor work, inductor working under AC and DC, how does an inductor look like, how does inductor measure, and applications of inductors. We will try to create a strong understanding of inductor through this video. What is inductor? An inductor is an electrical component that stores energy in a magnetic field when an electric current flows through it. Inductor can store energy in the form of magnetic field. That is the speciality of inductor. Any conductor in the form of coil is an inductor. Twist to a copper wire in the form of coil that will act as an inductor. Any conductor in a coil form can work as inductor. The speciality of inductor is an inductor is an electrical component that opposes change in electric current. That is, inductor wants to maintain status quo. It tries to oppose the changes in electric current. Let's look at the working of an inductor. In order to understand this, we can do a small experiment. We can take a small battery. Then the battery is connected to a lamp and an inductor. Connect the leads to the battery. Now you can see the bulb is slowly increasing the brightness or it is leading up slowly. After some time, you can see the bulb is constantly lit up it almost full potential if you remove this battery you can see the bulb is slowly turning off it will remain on for some time period then it loses its power and became off let's analyze these scenarios at the starting if the circuit is on that is we are connecting the power source some current or some energy is used for the creation of magnetic field in the inductor inductor will use some energy to create the magnetic field at the starting. Only part of the energy will reach the load or reach the bulb. That is the reason for slow lifting up of the bulb. Once the magnetic field is fully produced, then it will act like a conductor only. So there won't be any opposition. Then the bulb will be constantly lit in full potential. We saw the property of inductor is to oppose the change in current. It wants to maintain the status quo. So at the starting what is happening, there will not be any current in the circuit. If you are connecting the battery or if you are connecting the power source, there will be a current. So inductor try to oppose that current creating the magnetic field. So the bulb will be partially lit. Once the magnetic field is fully produced, then inductor wants to maintain that status quo. So in that situation, the magnetic field is still there or current is flowing through the circuit. If you are suddenly removing the battery or turning off the circuit, what is happening? Inductor tries to oppose that state by releasing the energy in the magnetic field. So, inductor will release some energy to the load. In that scenario, you can see the bulb is turning off slowly. If you are removing the battery and connecting the circuit with same capacity of AC supply, what will be the effect? You can see the bulb is partially lit. The bulb will not lead in its full potential. The bulb will be partially lit in all time. What is the reason for that? We know AC is an alternating current. Unlike DC, in AC the electron will not move from one position to another position. It will move to and fro. So like it is oscillating and changes direction in every half cycles. The first half cycle electrons will move in one direction. The another half cycle electron will move in another direction. Do this change in nature, if the alternating current is passing through an inductor or coil, it will produce a magnetic field. This magnetic field is changing in every half cycle because of the change in AC. The changing magnetic field associated with the conductor will induce an EMF in the conductor. That is called Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. We have done a detailed video regarding the Faraday's laws and alternating current earlier. I will provide the link in description box. You can watch that. Due to the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, because of the changing AC, inside the inductor, there will be EMF or voltage produced. As a result, there will be a current also produced. That is called eddy current. What is the nature of this eddy current? This nature of the eddy current will be always tries to oppose the current flow. Eddy current will try to oppose the normal current flow. So some of the current flow will be affected due to that and the overall current flow through the circuit will be reduced, the light will be less brightened or light will not lit in the full potential because this eddy current. This phenomenon is called 
self induction if you look at the voltage and current waveforms you can see the current lacks voltage that is voltage and current will not be at the peak at the same time the current is at the peak after some time voltage reaches the peak that is called current lacks voltage the reason for this is a property of inductor inductor tries to oppose the change in current if the current is moved from zero to maximum what inductor will do inductor will drop the voltage to zero in order to bring down the current to zero level the current came from peak to zero in that scenario what is inductor do inductor try to increase the voltage to move the current into peak level so inductor wants to maintain the status quo if the current is coming from high to low inductor will try to push the current into high if the current is coming from low to high the inductor will try to push the current into low in order to attain this inductor will try to push the voltage to high level or reduce the voltage into zero that is this waveform if the current is in the peak the voltage will be zero if the current is zero the voltage will be high if you look at the symbols or legends of inductor you can see various type of symbols used to represent the inductor so you can use any one of this the unit of inductor is henry its name after joseph henry joseph henry discovered the electromagnetic phenomenon of self inductance that is the reason unit is named after him how to identify inductor inductor normally found in the form of coil you can see a coil and inside a core like arrangement if you see this arrangement you can identify this as an inductor inductor is coming with an outer cover also this is to shield the magnetic field the coil with an outer cover in this form also the inductors are available in the market the next in similar to the resistor in this form also inductor available with two leads and the rings you can differentiate resistor with the inductor in the resistor the center pod will be little bit curved shape in inductor it will be thicker what are the applications of inductor inductors used as shocks inductors that blocks high frequency alternating current and it allows direct current so inductor uses as filters and it is used in sensors so inductor store and transfer energy in power converters inductor in combination with capacitors used to create tuned circuits it is used to regulate the induction motors inductors are used in relays also inductor will generate a magnetic field if comes to contact with an ac using this property inductors are used in relays that's it guys i think you got a fair idea about inductor and its working see you in the next video bye